instantly after. Like maybe now there's like a bit of an overlayer where you can't. I don't know if that is the buff that they intended. Um, I mean, I'm at least looking forward to the gate, the gate plays, right? Like from Underlord. Yep. When initially this patch came out, I thought like Isles and Underlords would have super high playability because stealing wisdom runes or like the map is so much bigger, so mobility kind of like rises in value too. But this hero just straight up died. Like Underlord is just, no one played it. So I also want to see what he will build. It, it definitely has a high skill cap it does. with the ult specifically. Yeah. You can see he's really thick as well. Oh, that's my, uh, that's the Dota Cinema Pit Lord, or uh, Underlord set. You made that? Well, or what? I, like I, I mean, yeah, kind of. Uh, kind of. I mean, I didn't, di sure. It's a pretty good it's one. It's the Grim Reaper head. Yeah. It's awesome. It's, Love it, it. it's a pretty good set. The great Natio workshop artist worked with us. Shout out to Nat Shout Natio. Out. Shout out to Natio. Natio. Yep. So but yeah. Lou, of course, we'll be playing a Naga. <laughs> we get to enjoy that. Yep. But. As long as it's not in the hand of, hands of Skeeter, I think uh, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be a little bit more entertaining. Okay, let me see. There's going to be a lot of dispels on Dire, which is what you want against Naga. But okay, let's see. Bounty runes. Yep, Stormbolt is there. And it looks like uh, that's going to be a split. Two for two. But the bounty. Um, Skeeter does take quite a bit of damage yeah, so with the Tango. Minus one Tango over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, mid lane should be a... Farm fest for both. I don't see like too much stuff really going on there. Um, we'll have to put our eyes on Fy to see if he can make some plays happen because I feel like it's not that easy for him with the lane setups. Mm -hmm. so we see an early static link. How does this matchup typically work out? I mean, uh, you probably haven't seen a ton of it. But not in theory, much. How it'll I work. mean, Zeus just generally. I mean, any hero who can spam out the wave will do fine, right? I think after like level five, maybe it gets a bit annoying for Razor because eventually you don't have the most sustain. But I think until like level four, Razor should be totally fine in this matchup. Yeah. But like, I think level f until four levels, you actually win it on Razor. I always have great respect for people that can last hit with this hero. The delay Ooh, Razor? is brutal. Yeah. You need to really get used to this hero. Like he pulls out his whip and it's like, come on, man. And it's ironic that there's such a delay when it's lightning. It's instant. Yeah. It should be. Well, got to update that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that in Dota 1. It was actually worse in Dota 1, believe it or not. I don't even know what he looked like in Dota 1. I know what he looked like in Han. I mean, he looks pretty much the same, I would say. Okay. Very similar. As it will be the offlane DK for mm -hmm. Azure Ray, Mr. Faith Beyond. I, I kind of do prefer this hero as... I, mean, I guess it depends, but as the offlaner, mm -hmm. it's an initiator. Oh, that's the thing. Regardless of whether it's mid or... Offlane or yep. safely, it's still an initiator of sorts, it feels he like, is. in a lot of cases. Yeah. He, he's like a slow pressure early on, right? Like, he, he's kind of annoying in lane, then he hits some towers, but the hero, until he rushes a blink with the right lineup or gets like two, three items, he doesn't really pressure too much. Well. It's Malrain. Yeah, it's pretty much an even lane so yeah. far, surprisingly. Yeah, it's just a, a farm trade for now. See bottom. They have a level close, two timing. But Firestorm is there from Amar. Oh, even a bushwhack coming out from Crit. A lot of damage being applied to Marcy, but won't result in a kill. And I'm really interested. No, you can see the veil. That's no big surprise mm -hmm. for Amar being queued up. So eventual Shivas. But what what other type of items are you expecting from the Underlord? Yeah, honestly, I'm I'm not fully sure because I think Amar is more the player that will buy core items. I think he used to always like the Atolls a lot because it actually allowed this hero to like also be a threat on the map, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of just being like some right click or aura bot. Uh, well and now that the Pit of Malice does damage, there you go. You don't need you to get build the damage. triple root, and you just yeah. I mean, I want. Is it like 20 damage a second for Pit? I don't even know. I think it's like 20, 40, 60, yeah. 80 or something. It's yeah. it's kind of Reginald boring. next spell, mid spell. Oh, we have a we rebound have a into dispose. Firestorm being faked out from Amar, quite low on HP. Blood grenade slows him down as well. From downtown. The Firestorm Here comes, comes FY. as Fy making his way over. And that should result in the first blood for FY. So second game in a row Still that slow. occurs. Crit. One second. Boom. Look at this range on FY. Doesn't turn into a double kill for him specifically. Let's split it with Marcy, though. Okay, actually did make it happen, so nicely done. I wasn't sure if they were going to get many kills off in the early game. But playing for it. Because, yeah, in the meantime, I don't really see what happens to Faith Beyond here in this lane. He's just a DK chilling. But yeah, item build for Amar. Honestly, I don't know. Could just it could just be like Shiva into BKB. I think Pipe is really good in this game later. Like you're playing into Zeus, like even a lot of DK's damage with like Brief Fire and his auto attack. With some poison has a lot of magic in it. So we'll have to see. 
As Ori, see if he ends up going for the phylactery build. The shard build, if anything, is crit. Blood, Blood grenade. grenade actually is enough to snag himself a kill. Lou, though, with all his illusions, oh, should be able to clean it. up crit, so one for one. Both cores just look on. Well, should be a better trade, um, at least slightly, for Azure Ray, because uh, Tianming has TP. I'm pretty sure that crit has to walk to lane. Pit does max level 50 damage. Also, oh, it scales, it starts with 20 and scales I'm up by 10. I'm guessing that's per second. Yes. No, like, yeah. 50 per second. Yeah, that's, that's all right. I mean, that adds up if you have the Atos in between. Mm -hmm. Triple root action. Kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, Amar should be fine now in this lane. He has Helm of Iron Will, which is like, whenever you can rush an item as an offlaner that gives you sustain. Snaking, just taking some pressure. FY just blocking off the path for Snaking, but Snaking is A-OK. -okay. Kind of boring side lanes in a way. Like, I think there won't be any kills unless FY or a Zeus ulti, like, joins the fray. Skeeter forcing FY back. Doesn't really want to expend mana here. Yep. As there will be no kill to come. Still working on his treads. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ori should slowly start getting ahead now in mid. He has Arcane Boots, high levels. FY looking to TP. There's a yeah. root set up. Attempt number two. Blood Grenade applied. Amar. Oh, nice bushwhack onto two heroes. Ura. Looks like the Marcy will fall first. Lou is going to be next potentially. Does die, but... Actually, Amar goes down last. So he does get the XP for that. Very important. Now, FY being turned around on it. Snake King has made his way over as well. A double kill for a crit. A three for one. And Amar got most of that XP yeah. as well. Oh, that is uh, very big. Like, not only does he... I'm pretty sure Amar has the Helm of Iron Will, right? So you have more armor. He has more regen. But also with the aura, reducing their damage. Marine. Yep, he's getting gone on. But he's doing a lot of damage. So Ori and company can't really finish the job here. Well, Zeus ult is available. That always makes it easier for you to also play the side lanes. Refill on the bottle. Double damage top. Ori should be able to get it. Amplify damage, Shannon. Damage rune. Thank you. I actually had to double check. I went and looked. Every other rune is one word. One word, yeah. So. We did figure that out last time. I'm glad. And you I, I think it. I know why they change it to amplify. It's because of the spell damage that you get from it now. But still, it's still yeah. damage. Damage is damage, okay? Damage rune. But maybe if you just call it damage, but most people think it's only Who cares physical. what they think? Whatever. It's all about Skeeter Who? running away. How about Zeus ult? There Zeus it is. Zeus ult indeed. As Ori using the Amplify Damage rune. Master. Marcy now on the run. Crit. He Catching might have up. to go to the wave to rebound Aroni. Doesn't have a whole lot of mana, but Snaking gets the Hex. But that was mid-rebound. Impale follows. A couple more right clicks. Acorn shot as well. Snaking actually TPing out, giving up on this. Crit has to guess correctly. Uh, he does, but he I don't think he can catch uh, up now. Scurry, scurry. scurry. He need oh, it won't be. Yeah. Continue on. Is he going to dive? Marcy he up. <laughs> Getting the extra regen from the tower. No. The rebound, he actually turns it around completely. Oh, right. Crit completely outplayed. Reddit clip. What a monster. He went in the exact... Like, he knew he was living, baited him to tank one tower shot. Oh, man. Like, that was, that was nice. You don't see many 1v1 plays between supports. Look at this. That's true. Man, that was beautiful. We missed him baiting and him. And the fact that he's getting the shot. extra regen and armor under the tower, yep. that's the only it's reason he lived. Stay alive, absolutely. As Faith Beyond, he's got a double wave under his tower, so just continuing to... He's just fine on his own, right? He can just hold the wave here forever. Which means FY can continue to go wherever he wants. And Malring getting backed up by crit. Here's another rebound attempt, but an instant hoodwink stun coming out, and that's gonna finally get the Marcy kill. As crit gets a little bit of revenge <laughs> for what happened before. Yeah, a little bit. It wasn't nearly as pretty though. It wasn't, but that's still. not gonna everybody post this one to Reddit too, just to make sure you even it up. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Yeah, Mar. 402 build. Very happy on this Underlord. Two levels ahead of Naga. Yeah. I mean, how much does the aura affect Naga at this state of the game? Mm, I think it's... Ooh, oh, Bushwhack. Nice combo. You can see Ida Storm from Mal Rain. This is going to be an easy cleanup on Azus. FY trying to get the hell out, but the Hex is there to cancel the TP. Double kill for Mal Rain, and now some damage being Very applied to the Tier 1. by Crit. Yeah, he deserves that tip. That was a 
bushwhack into Acorn, like make like making it super hard for Ori to react. He leveled up after getting embarrassed. He really did. He took that shit personal. That tip set him off. Yeah, don't tip crit, guys. Probably had zero emotion on the webcam. As we have the first Fiend's Gate of the game, Faith Beyond's gonna walk right past it. Amar <laughs> just checking. Yeah. Just scaring Faith Beyond a bit. Oh, we have a little cleanup crew here. Snake King drops. Go a little deep. Ori will farm some stacks. The most usual build here on Zeus with the Phylactery Rush. We haven't even... This game's already better than the other one. Oh, yeah. This Literally game doesn't matter what happens Four now. times better. Four times. At least. At least. What would you say? About 100, because that was the worst game I've ever seen in my life. Thank you, Shannon. I'll ask Needs you for to an be. update later. <laughs> <laughs> well, Marine's network is very good. 4.8k with three yep. kills. Stormbolt. Crit going right through the Sprout, as we talked about. The Scurry. Very good against that. Attempting the TP out. Actually, it looks like he's going to be fine. FY, though. No TP? Or? He is nope. uh, being walked with that leash applied from Malreen. So a support kill for Falcons that are obviously looking for a little bit more, but yep. used all their stuns. Yeah, either way good. Defending this lane from the DK, because DK doesn't really do much up there other than slowly pressure. Crit, stealing the rune. Yep, he sure does. Ooh, oh, that, 420 MLG. Will he hit? <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, he, he does, him. Malreen. Oh, he's going to slow. get slowed by the heavenly jump. Uh-oh. But the plasma field him. is up. Is that enough? It, it is. is. This is a level 25 plus Razor. Let's not second guess. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Uh, crit returns the, the tip this time around. Yeah, I think uh, the Marcy has died three times since that tip. Yeah. Maybe got a little too happy. Now he's just been getting right on the map and a little bit outplayed. I must say that Skeeter's net worth seems very incredibly lackluster. 3.6? That's either a lot of CS missing going on hmm. or Faith Beyond just having some really nice lane control plus denies. I wouldn't put it past him. So it is a pipe rush on Amar. Okay. About right. Very unselfish of him. I was expecting Eternal Shroud, maybe, you know? I think he understands. Because he plays so much Razor, I think he knows that the one thing that will slow down Malreen's game is just like the Zeus, who's just going to constantly blast spells. Right. So I very much like that he is going for a pipe. Plasma Field actually does apply to Ori. We'll just heavenly jump away, though. Very even game so far in this game number three. Remember, yep. loser goes to lower bracket. Winner faces off against Bet Boom in a best of three upper bracket finals. And the static Ooh, uh. link applied to Ori pops that ult, but will this be enough? With the Dragon Tail coming out from Bach. Malreen inside the trees trying to run around <laughs> everybody. Looks like he will drop Good in the back. end as the Hoodwink getting a nice bushwhack again. This one leading to the Marcy kill. Really has a vendetta against that Marcy after using the tip. Amar now getting gone on by Bach and company. FYTP's in as well. Dragon Tail with the right clicks. Do they have enough damage? Crit still on the outskirts. Another bushwhack. They're just going to turn this around. Amar has the Pit of Malice. Will yep. use it. So with the Firestorm, and Skeeter's going to be there with a the Stormbolt as well. Another Firestorm ripping right through Dragon Knight. Great spell against this hero. Dragon Tail is there. As Bach, okay, oh, there comes, comes Ori. It's been so long, he has respawned and gotten some vengeance as Amar does fall. <laughs> I mean, don't don't disrespect Underlord at this stage. He had like 150 bonus damage, like just from uh, the aura. But, yeah, not too bad. Azure have a little bit of fighting back as Ori does get to respawn after all of it. Yep, that is how Dota works. Yep, indeed. Until you take over as Ice Frog, of course. Yeah, the buybacks, you, you have to do something. It's going to cost half your net worth to buy back <laughs> at mean, that point. I wish. <laughs> I mean, I feel like aggressiveness should be rewarded maybe a little more in Dota. I think it has a lot of, um, like, I don't know, backfire potential. I'm sure there's an expression for this. Drawback potential. Yeah, both are good. Good English. Thank you. Malreen with the invis now. FY might be tanking a gank. Well, he's on a ward, so I'm pretty sure he will die. Malreen getting some help with that quelling blade. Will rip FY a new one. So the pipe recipe for Amar is ready. So he doesn't need too much more. Doesn't feel like an FY hero. Nature's Ooh, nature's? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a super, it's not like this skilly type hero. Skilly. Right? Yeah, <laughs> skilly. <laughs> 
Well, it's like this, you know, like you pop off, you do some fancy stuff. It's like, yeah. wow, ITP guys. You could play Nature's Prophet, China. No, I maybe played twice in my life. I'm sure you can play Nature's Prophet. You need to press TP. That's right. I don't have the micro anymore. Yeah. Nobody cares about that spell. Okay, so there's... Like, Azure Ray's draft right now is still fairly slow. Like, they don't have much potential to abuse, like, Naga putting the waves very aggressively. DK has no blink. They're gonna run into Amar, but he's very tanky. He is, gets the early Pit of Malice off. Heavenly jump in, rebound is gate. there. Trying to go through the Fiend's Gate. We'll have to reapply it here, but another Dispose. And the ult from Zeus comes out. Now Reed oh. actually coming through the Fiend's Gate. Does he actually want to fight this? But Snake King coming through with okay. the Finger of Death. Not quite enough to take out the Marcy. We'll actually walk Snake away King. somehow. Snake King getting chased by the Illusions. Actually comes back to make <laughs> sure that he does die to it. So two dead for Falcons. And we'll see. Once that shard comes in, it's going to make taking care of these illusions a little bit easier for the likes of Snake King. That worked out attack. pretty nicely as Amar tried Radiant to get Malreen to feed with him <laughs> with the gate. I mean, I guess FY can always just join these plays, like, right? Like when you pop the Zeus ult, you pop the Nature's ulti on any gank, it does give you a lot of damage. But I think for now, Azure Ray's draft is still not the fastest, To the going back to my point from earlier. Once this blink comes out, as Tian Ming, uh, he's dead. Indeed. This aggressive ward from Falcons has definitely already paid off quite a lot. Tian Ming does ping it out now. Doesn't have that much lifetime left anyway. Yep. Got very good value. Skeeter. Top, they know this one is they real. They want low. Impale. Has the song. They have to keep him stunned forever, basically. Stormbolt oh, is there and actually draining his mana quite a bit. Lou getting some help from FY now as Skeeter has to abandon the true prize possession. Actually, doesn't even go for FY now. Is FY feigning aggression? It looks like there is a Zeus coming, though. So Ori basically scaring them off. And yeah, somehow no kills yeah. in that engagement. Even, like the mana drain nearly like <laughs> being the difference maker of them getting the kill. But FY. See, That's Fiend's Gate would have been great there. That is true. He would have been dead with it. Lou, don't die to uh, me. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. I wonder if there's going to be... Well, probably not this game. I want to see Underlord Ags, though, at some point. That's the one that makes the pit, the pit. next to the gates? Yeah. I've actually, so it's basically it a global pit. No, it has to be good. Like, I've never seen it, but... oh. Buck is surrounded. How will yeah, they respond to he's this? he's spotted. Pit of Malice there. Pops the dragon form crit with Good a big song. sharpshooter. He's already at half HP. The Song of the Siren will save Faith Beyond for now. Will they abandon this fight completely? Lou Chris gets off the trouble. ensnare. Yeah, Chris in quite a bit of trouble. His box actually going to get chased down oh, by Malorine. So they do find the Dragonite in the end. Double kill for Malorine as the Naga dies as well. And now Ori actually wanting to fight. He gets cleaved. Triple kill for Malorine. FY in the trees. And only one remaining member of Azure Ray alive wow. is Malreen now owning with the Ultra. Ultra with another alt chat. It's like yep, triple chin uh, <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> triple chin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, that was... I hate when this happens where you sometimes, like, you try to save your teammate with a Naga song, but it's, like, not really you setting it up. Like, you're heavily reacting to what's going on. Because that really bit them in the ass afterwards. I think Amar's pipe really paid off a lot in that fight to kind of keep them all going, keep them fighting. Because I think Azure Raid, they, they're not ready. They're still waiting for this DK blink, play the map. Their, their five on five is really not that strong. Like DK is not really a hero right now when it comes to team fighting. As the tier one tower will go the way of Falcons as well. We're gonna see the replay. Mm -hmm. And I thought this was going to be a song into Disengage. It uh, crit got stuck a bit here. I by mean, the Crit's positioning is like baiting them because they're deciding to stay. You see this? Yeah. Like they want to go on him, but like he gets piped, he has stick. I don't know if there's a Lotus going on or whatever it is, but... I mean, the problem is if you decide to fight, Melreen already sucked like 200 damage during the song on someone mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah, true. So he's so strong. Yep, that is very true. The, yep. As long as you can get that static link off, Gonna be pretty damn strong. He has a BKB now too on Razor. Oh. That's real. He has no song. He has to be careful how he walks. Yep, not tripping over his own feet, so so far good start. <laughs> Malreen. 
Both drain some damage. He took the perfect path when he went through the mid tier two and mid tier three. There's Might run the Malreen, potentially. He does have Malreen TP cutting now. Him off. Yep, Fiend's Gate. Ula. Lou continuing on. Crit. He was smoked, I oh, believe. They know exactly so now they know is. that he's back here. Ah. Song? Lou. Yeah, Song is now up. Uh, Make a sure long to enough hello chase. To everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to get some minus armor applied first. <laughs> Okay, so the Orchid will be available soon on the Naga, uh, which should help them oh, with yeah, the map play. Look at that ancient dragon. I mean, that cosmetic is pretty cool. It only lasts a certain amount of time, though. That is the problem. <laughs> That's why I will not get it. <laughs> I want to spend money for one month. <laughs> it is me. Okay, so Maureen, I mean, he's doing very well. He has a BKB. I don't really see how he's going to, like, die unless he really mispositions himself. Like, they would have to perfectly DK stun into rebound. Yeah, Malreen gets sprouted, but just Quelling's out. Now going for FY, pops the BKB. That's a Dead Nature's Profit. Yep. Into a TP for Malreen, so not really interested in sticking around. Yep. 4K lead for Falcons, and around this time, we usually ask the question, Roche. Mm -hmm. Is Roche on the table? It's actually pretty easy for both teams. Of course, Dire are ahead, which means it's easier for them, but... Even Radiant, right? You have minus armor from Riptide, you can use Marcy ult. I think if we just look at Faith Beyond's item build, or well actually all of their item builds, they're gonna go three Mantas. The moment he went away from going Blink, it just goes to show you that all AR want to do is delay the game and split the map. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have Zeus Illusions with Lightning, Killing Waves, DK the same, and Naga the same. So I think AR's tempo will not be very high. It's gonna be mainly off of their wave shove on the map. Falcons, on the other hand, looking to step it up yeah. tempo-wise. Malreen and Crit leading the way, but we can see Mr. Faith Beyond has already backed away in that lane. I mean, Faith Beyond is not sure yet, at least, but both teams going for a similar play. They want to make an aggressive move on a 21-minute Wisdom rune, plus potential Tormi Tormen. Yep, Scan comes out, I believe, snaking. Ends up being spotted there. FY is off the stun. Too. FY is here with the sprout. Oh, he got the rune. But a bigger fight actually happening in the top lane. Faith Beyond, the core, is dead. Looks like the Wisdom Rune was taken by Snaking, but he dies shortly after. And FY spotted. Skeeter coming through the gate. Should be an easy cleanup onto the support from Azure Ray's side. Kind of a cool play from Amar. He TPs down here, drops the gate for his team to come to him. I think generally people just drop the gate for wherever the hell they want to go. Yeah. Right? Not to like help set up their team. So I like that a lot. Skeeter will go for the Superman build, which it just seems like the go to build for every Sven because I haven't seen any Sven not buy Axe. Low. Yeah, it's just a pseudo blink. I mean, the, the spell. Yeah. I don't know if that does anything this game uh -oh. is Lou. Bushwhack. Yeah. Nice job from Crit. Sharpshooters there as well. And that is the death of the Naga. Who at this stage of the game, I feel like uh, another smiley face. Malreen really likes taunting Azure. Uh, if this was a Valve event, I think they would have taken some uh, draft penalty already. <laughs> Someone would be running to them on stage right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, up 7k. I mean, he is performing very nicely. He's like 14 and 1 on the Razor. Uh, yeah, I think Azure. They will continue at this pace. Uh, Reginald, could we click on Razor? I want to know what that shard does because I actually don't remember. It's the one that pulls people. Oh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. It pulls you guys yeah. together. It's kind of a cool one. It's very cool. Would you put this in the A tier? Uh, very specific. Um, yeah, I would say generally B. Sometimes it's like A tier. Like if you play against people who want to like force away or like jump away from you or run away from you, the shard is really good because mm -hmm. it generally keeps. Like, it, it makes four staffs and stuff generally not break it. Snake King getting chased. He is getting bursted, more like it. Oh. He's going to survive for now, <laughs> but ends up being taken out by yeah. FY's ult. The classic Zeus ult into... <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of global. ...to Nature's Prophet ult. Plasma Fear from Malreen. Marcy will be out. Doing the casual TP out. Razor and Bloodseeker suffering from the same... Woes yep. of the teleportation scroll. 
I mean, I like this build, which is coming off of Malreen. It's very standard. It's the one he does nearly every game. Manta, BKB, Satanic. You just, you move fast, you become very strong, you're very tanky, you can really man up in fights. And the, the Tormentor is really giving it to them. Yeah, they triple up though. Oh yeah, kill them, Tianming, please. Oh, 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 oh. Close one. Marcy gets it. That's the weirdest shard in the game, probably. Use it on your enemy is very cool. It had the shard before where you could like you could rebound push your teammates. I really like that one. Nobody used it. I remember one I game. I loved it. One game, uh, the so it wasn't a tormentor. It was when you get it off a of Roche because yeah. it was a physical item. And someone killed it. Yeah, Soxa killed it. I remember. Everybody that else too. had shard except for him. He killed yeah. it, which is pretty funny. Did not want the net worth. Yep. Which, if you're not going to use it, then mm -hmm. actually makes sense. I wonder if one of the main reasons why the Sven Naga match, uh, he's fine. Where I feel like Sven seems a bit more of a counter than before. I think right now with how Nagas are building, it's always this build. The Manta Orchid and then Eternal Shroud, which I feel like is one of the reasons why Magic Heroes have seemed a lot worse against Naga. But Sven does not care if you build Eternal Shroud at all. I feel like that raises the value as well of the this particular matchup. Lotus now on Amar. He's playing very team-friendly Dota yep, right now. Very good. No weird items, which actually a bit disappointing, if I'm being honest. You want him to go Basher, Mask of Madness? And the Assault Cure on, yeah, the right-click build. The Assault is that, coming. The unfortunate thing is that the Ags was changed. That was, in some ways, that Ags was oh, really cool for just the aura. ending games. Yeah. You just get a ton of damage for your team. actually very cool. We never really saw it, I feel like. Oh, it, we didn't see it often, like in competitive, but that one had a lot of potential. And this one we've seen even less, the current Axe. I have never seen it. Yeah. Well, first Roche should be on the menu now in like the next couple of minutes. Of course, Falcons line up not the best at killing it, but the longer the game goes, the more items you get. Of course, the easier Rochan gets as well. Um, let's look. I think Azure Ray, soon enough, have enough items to also like fight back on the map, right? DK Blink with the next round of items on Ori and now the Eternal Shroud on Mr. Low should help them to fight back. Yep, tier one mid taken out, tier one top taken out. Ori, he's Whoa. gonna be spotted. Whoa. Superman's coming for ya. And that is a dead Zeus. Ula. Skeeter in the right place at the right time. Big kill. I mean, the lead for Falcons is not crazy oh, they by can, any means. They can They're going to catch on. FY now. He's going to get sharpshooted and the Superman finish. Two dead on the steps of their base. So the Azure Ray going to try to have to defend this 3v5. Snaking did have to pay the price. But yeah, Ori dying to Skeeter. Probably the worst thing that could happen to them. And then with the gate, he can just go straight back up here. It looks like the tier 3 is dead. Focus on the melee now. Zeus still dead for another 18 seconds. Rebound yeah, that's, out to that's help Faith Beyond get out. Looks like it'll be well, one more fort. Will they stick around? I think, I think they should. No, like low is, I mean, low is cutting mid and bottom, but who cares? He's not here. They're not really yeah, coming. Dragon Tails, it looks like this might actually turn into a potential fight as the Marcy's brought back and destroyed. Static Link to push back Faith Beyond as Malreen just does take a decent amount of damage. Lotus Orb replied now as they run away. Happy with the melee racks. Great pushback by Crit. If that's what brought the Marcy like back in, that must have been like perfect radius. Oh, Superman onto Ori. Oh, oh my god! Almost into the fountain. He's gonna pop the God Strength and the BKB. And now they're just got the high tail away. That was almost disastrous <laughs> as Skeeter now stuck. We'll use the quelling. <laughs> just testing. <laughs> Well, at least I don't think he will end up in the fountain after this one because this was a close call. <laughs> that was up low. low. I think another added benefit of getting the access game on Sven is because you're up against Sprout. So later, like you can drop your Quelling Blade and just play on stunning out of the Sprout, yeah, which is true. great. Because that matchup is incredibly annoying. We have seen it many, many times. Or just get Battle Fury. Yeah, this is very good. <laughs> Sell the Ags. Sell your Cleave skill for another one <laughs> and get Battle Fury. Yes. Okay, they're going for the Wisdom Rune Steel, but they're a little off the mark when it comes to timing. Yeah. Oh, are they actually going to pass through like ships in the night? They need to Skeeter be showing himself. Bok. Looking for the opening dragon tanky. form. Dragon Tail is there, but Amara comes in with the Shivas and uh -oh. the Pit of Malice to follow. Double Impale from Snake King. Marcy's dead. Sharpshooter to help finish off Faith Beyond. 
And this is not looking good for Azure Ray. They keep trying to make these moves, but Falcons just on top of it right now. I mean, how likely are you to kill a 4K HP hero at his tier two? I mean, they didn't know that Amar is close, so you have to kill him 4K HP in two stuns through a pipe. It's a big no-no, so they will be heavily punished for this play. Now a 10k lead. They're going to get double Satanic. I don't know if Malreen finished his. But these core... Yeah, so Malreen has Satanic. Skeeter is going to have Satanic. You have Aura's Shiva's on Amar. These cores are untouchable unless they really mess up. And there is no fortification for Azure Ray, so this God Strength is going to be massive. And yeah. keep in mind, Faith Beyond's coming back in 10 seconds. He does not have his ult yet. He used that during his time being dead, essentially. He used it right before he died. So that's a second lane for Falcons. And they're going to respect things, back away, play Discipline Dota. And remember, there has not been a single Roche. This is actually such a unique yeah. game. Two lanes of racks without a single Roche is like unheard of in current Dota. Honestly, that is a good point. I'm not sure when we've seen that the last time. It, it might be about the fact where Falcons are like, okay, if we go Roche, we give up too much of the map, right? Like we have too much tempo and we... Their cores, if we really think about it, they don't really die to these Radiant heroes. How can Azure deal 4,000 damage before any of the Falcon heroes respond? Mm -hmm. I don't think they can. So who cares about an Aegis? It also helps that they got a pick off at the top lane right in front of their base. Yeah. There's the smoke now. I mean, low has and Shadow Azure. They're going to spot Malreen. Thunder God's Wrath goes off, but in the meantime, Snake King was getting really low. He's Actually, still will alive. survive. Sharpshooter connects out of the Naga with the Impale to follow, getting drained of the mana, getting drained of the HP, and that is a dead Naga Siren. And I'm sure another smiley face to come very shortly. It's Amar with the tip. Naga does have buyback here. As Satanics are popped to make sure that they have full HP. And the Bushwhack finding Ori now. The Fiend's Gate, Amar with the Shivas into the pit. Smiley and face. Superman comes in to finish the job. They're definitely Azure look like they're going to the lower bracket. Yep, their uh, Falcons are hungry for a place to make sure to drop out some tips after. Snaking, doing it to Skeeter, nearly 5k HP. Yeah, I'm not sure what they can do right now. This looks like Megas. Yep, Megas at the very least. Naga will be back in 12, has the buyback, but We'll save it for now because there's no Zeus for 30, and that is a good chunk of your damage right now. Yep. You talked about the offlane DK is not going to be a big damage dealer. It's more just initiation. Yep. So it's Zeus and Naga. And even those heroes, they, GGs they are call called. it. So they're just going to not delay it any longer. So Falcons making a nice comeback overall in the series, end up taking it 2-1, and they will face off against Betboom in the upper bracket finals while Azure Ray drops to the lowers.